Oh, okay. I wasn't going to watch this today. I've been trying to avoid everything on Halloween ends. I saw the teaser, I've seen pictures here and there, and I know a little bit of what was rumored to be the synopsis, but I've been trying to keep my head low because Blumhouse loves to spoil these Halloween movies. Jason Blum has been quoted as saying something to the effect of, yeah, I don't care what they show you, I'm trying to get your ass in the seat. If it makes you excited, then I did my job. No, no, I don't want to know what happens at the end of the movie. But Halloween 2018 kind of did that. They did it a little bit better with Halloween Kills, but they also spoiled a lot of the cool kills in Halloween Kills. So I'm hoping that this is not that way. I hope that today we are going to see something that is just going to be tasty without completely fucking us over. This dropped earlier today. I've been waiting all day. Scooch over here so I have room for the video in the video. But holy shit. Okay. Let's watch this. Here we go. Let's get these on. Halloween ends. The final trailer. October starts this weekend. Scooch my ass over. Okay, here we go. Blumhouse, please don't fuck us. Three, two, one. It's been four years since Michael Myers vanished without a trace. So accurate four years. All right, who's this? Why is he being slow? I like the big boom in music. I was certain that I saw him. So we're gonna Watching get that PTSD glory going. You pretend like you moved on, but you're actually just obsessed with death. What are you gonna do when Michael comes back for you? Cause he is coming. But this time, something feels different. He's more dangerous. So, the callbacks. Sorry, taking he it all in. My daughter. But tonight, I will kill him. Come and get me. So she baits him, and then the gunshot. So the mask comes off. Yeah, the mirrors are insane. Maybe the only way he can die is if I die too. It all ends now. <clears throat> So that's two kills we get spoiled. Oh, that's the... Hold on. You came here to kill me, so do it. Huh. I... Uh, what? There was so much to take in right there I <clears throat> <clears throat> so we get this kid who goes into the sewer he's is he looking for Michael because then he shows up later he's at Lori's house and he's talking to her excuse me about Michael and that he's coming for you I don't okay so we got two kills confirmed three kills confirmed in the trailer if i'm to understand things correctly they're going to be toning it down from halloween kills which is okay i'm fine with that but I, what the hell i think it's interesting that if they are going to go with this copycat doppelganger the kid who was talking around the stairs i assume that that's who it might be we're getting a lot of halloween h2o callbacks in here like we get the door that's the original him putting the girl stabbing her up on the door i'm very surprised that they confirmed that kill i'm not surprised what am i talking about i am not surprised they confirmed a kill but they did to be a callback but there's a lot of callbacks there's the look out the window there's the paranoia that she had in halloween h2o she was seeing him but not seeing him 
you get the scene where Michael gets his mask taken off. Is that going to be an allusion to the Halloween H2O kill at the end where Michael's there and she chops his head off? But is it Michael? Is it not Michael? Obviously, at the time, we thought it was Michael. But then you have Halloween Resurrection where you don't know that it wasn't Michael because it wasn't Michael and Michael did a body swap and all that shit. So I'll be curious to see if what we're seeing is what we're seeing. If we're made to believe that Lori is going to straight up take off Michael's mask, because if she does take his mask off, we then see him a couple seconds later and his mask is still on and he sits up. Looks like he pulled a knife out of himself. You know what? We're going to watch it again. I need to watch it again. I want to talk about this more with you guys. I, I want to watch it again. We're going to watch it again. I'm sorry. Let me scooch over again. Okay, here we go. Whew. Million miles a minute. Take a breath, Dave. I knew I shouldn't have watched this. Okay. Three, two, fucking one. Let's go. Okay. It's been four years. It's been four years. There's this little... Since Michael Myers vanished without a trace. Okay. So there, why is he going down here? Did he hear that something's going on? Michael doesn't immediately kill him. Has a knife. Staring him down. It's like, this motherfucker has him down, but doesn't kill him. Because, unless that's like his kill scene. Love that booming soundtrack. I was certain that I saw him. Watching me. You pretend like you moved on, but you're actually just obsessed with death. What are you going to do I mean, when Michael comes back for you? Because he is coming. But that is an H2O callback right there. The walking by the booth. He's more dangerous. <sighs> be curious to see if that's a longer chase scene, or if it's just going to be like, ha ha ha, and you're dead. Six of the wall. It's the head tilt. The music sounds amazing. Daughter, but tonight, I will kill him. Yeah, I'd imagine Could she wouldn't have me. moved on. I love that. The setting up. I love that idea. And then, of course, she has to pull the trigger. Okay, that's Michael. With the bald head, that's James Drew Courtney. Maybe the only way he can die is if I die too. Don't think I like that. It all ends now. I like this. I don't want to pause it and try to get a better look. Alright, here we go. She sits up. Oh, so she doesn't get the kill. Okay. Alright. So that's what it is. She doesn't get the kill off. He gets up. She's probably got him down like that. Okay. I understand things a bit better. I'm still very confused. And I'm glad that I'm confused. I don't want to go into this movie knowing really any more than this. When you come into a Halloween movie, you have to understand that there are going to be kills that are built up. You're going to go into scenes thinking, okay, yep, this is a kill scene. The Vicky kill in 2018 as horribly spoiled as that was, if you're being honest with yourself, if you were watching that scene and you hadn't seen the trailers, you knew that that was a Michael scene. You knew there's something in my closet. Push, push. He has to be in there. There he is. You're going to get scenes like that in Halloween Ends. That scene is probably going to be built up. Same with the radio booth scene. The moment you see Michael walk past there, you're going to know that that is a kill scene. So while it does spoil kills, spoils the radio booth, Spoils the redhead. Spoils the old lady. That's three. I'd imagine there's going to be a fair bit more than that. Especially if this is the last ride for Laurie Strode. At least this version of Laurie Strode. Jamie Lee Curtis is Laurie Strode. You gotta go out with a bang. Now, do I think they're going to kill Jamie Lee Curtis? I don't know. They're almost doing it too much. Like, oh, for him to die, I have to die. And I know they've alluded to that in this trilogy before, but I don't know so much now. It's like telling me about it makes me doubt it more. I don't know. But you know, I don't feel spoiled. I don't feel like I know too much. And for me, because I don't know anything else, this was good. I'm hyped about this. Like I said, I'm not going to go back and pick this apart frame by frame. I don't need to. I don't want to. We are 
two weeks away for all intents and purposes. This was perfectly fine for me. The one thing I'm really worried about is if they're going to do too much. If they're going to try to pack in too many things to make it interesting when really all you need is to have Lori and Michael fight. You need to kill Michael or you need to kill Lori. Can you kill the embodiment of evil though? That's the question. You can kill Lori and you can damage Michael, but are they going to kill them both? Who are they going to kill? I still don't know. I'm convinced of nothing. I'm excited for everything. Proper way to kick off the insane October that is ahead of us between Hellraiser and Child's Play and this and Terrifier. And with the crazy October coming up between Child's Play, Terrifier, Hellraiser, this... I'm back and I'm going to be covering all that stuff. I'm so damn excited. I hope you're excited. I look forward to seeing you back here. But until the next video, take care.